Use promo code MATCASTER for 5% off your order at Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide if you use our promo code MATCASTER at checkout. Whether you're buying singles or sealed product, use our code to support the show and get a discount. Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and today is September 22nd, 2023, and before we jump into things here, as per usual, I wanted to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield affiliate link, as well as a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Now, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our loser section off here today with Slip on the Ring from the Secret Layer series. This card is down 7.14% from $16.39 to $15.22 for its market price, and its average price is $12.92. Land tax here, and this is the Wilds of Eldraine Enchanting Tales, copy down 7.32% from $15.16 to $14.05 for its market price, and its average price is $15.49. Grave Pact here, and this is the Commander copy down 8.76% from $25.81 to $23.55 for its market price, and its average price is $21. And the next loser is Goblin Lackey 1311 from the Secret Layer series, down 11.07% from $11.56 to $10.28 for its market price, and its average price is $10.68. Land Tax from Commander Masters, this card is down 11.37% from $19.08 to $16.91 for its market price, and its average price is $19.11. Next up is Firestorm Phoenix, and this is a reserveless card from Legends, down 11.45% from $40.60 to $35.95 for its market price, and its average price is $39.43. Underworld Dreams here from the Secret Layer series, down 11.97% from $11.45 to $10.08 for its market price, and its average price is $12. Next up is Bottomless Pit here from the Secret Layer series, down 12.11% from $9 to $7.91 for its market price, and its average price is $8. And our final loser on our list today is Goblin Recruiter here from the Secret Layer series, down 15.07% from $8.89 to $7.55 for its market price, and its average price is $8.64. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Sank Paladin Unbroken from the Secret Layers series. This is the only version of this card, and this is the only place that you can get it. It's up 5.36% from $27.24 to $28.70 for its market price, and its average price is $40. And this card did come out in the Secret Layers series, Dungeons and Dragons Honored Amongst Thieves, and you could have got the non-foil copy for $40 and the foil copy for about $50. This card is being played a ton in the Commander format, in decks like Area of the Charmed Apple, Maisie True Sword Paladin, and also also Bruna Light of Alabaster. And the next winner on our list today is Greater Ormancy, and this is the anime borderless copy from Wilds Veldrain, up 5.96% from $21.32 to $22.59 for its market price, and its average price is $22. And the confetti foil version of the card is sitting at $69.66 for its market price, and its average price is $75.94. And the Wilds Veldrain Enchanting Tales copy is sitting at $10.11 for its market price, and its average price is $10.13. And the Shadowmore original copy is sitting at $31.50. Five cents for its market price, and its average price is thirty dollars and fifty three cents. Next up here is Murktide Regent from Modern Horizons Two. This card is up seven point one three percent from seventeen dollars and twenty five cents to eighteen dollars and forty eight cents for its market price, and its average price is nineteen dollars and two cents. And the pre-release copy is currently sitting at $29.26 for its average price, and the showcase copy is sitting at $16.63 for its market price, and its average price is $18.50. And this card is mostly being played in the vintage, legacy, and modern formats, and modern decks like Crashing Footfalls, The Mirror Control, Death Shadow, as well as Murktide Regent, and legacy decks it's being played in Grixis Tempo and Death Shadow, and in the vintage format it's being played in Doomsday decks. And the next winner on our list today is the One Ring from the Lord of the Rings. This card is up again 7.64% from $56.67 to $61 for its market price, and its average price is $64.21. 
The pre-release copy is currently sitting at $154.29 for its average price, and the extended art version of the card is sitting at $66.74 for its market price, and its average price is $70.42, and the borderless copy is sitting at $44.02 for its market price, and its average price is $66.70, and this card is being played mostly in the modern format, in Dexic 4-5 colored Omnath, Mono Green Tron, Amulet Titan, as well as Mono Black Coffers, and it's even being played in Demir Control in the modern format. This card is still being played everywhere. since. The there was no ban announcement on this card, but there could be one in the future. Definitely would make me a bit cautious about buying at these all-time highs. Next up, here is Agatha Soul Cauldron, and this is the Wildsville Drain Mythic up 9.29% from $42.94 to $46.93 for its market price, and its average price is $49.88. And the pre-release copy is currently sitting at $66.60 for its average price, and the promo pack version of the card is sitting at $33.38 for its market price, and its average price is $45. And the extended art version of this card from the Collector Booster Packs is sitting at $50.87 for its market price, and its average price is $55. And this card is being played a ton in the modern format in decks like Yawgmoth, Hardened Scales, and it's even being played in the Commander format in decks like Agatha of the Vile Cauldron. And the next winner on our list today is Doubling Season, another Wilds of Eldraine Enchanting Tales card up 10.71% from $39.69 to $43.94 for its market price, and its average price is $42.29. And the anime borderless copy is currently sitting at $50.74 for its market price, and its average price is $54. And the confetti foil version of the card is sitting at $155.13 for its market price, and its average price is $200. And the commander masters copy is sitting at $43.22 for its market price, and its average price is $45. And the foil etch copy from commander masters is sitting at $45 for its market price, and its average price is $49.31. And the original copy from Ravnica is sitting at $70.60 for its market price and its average price is $60.52. Next up here is another Mythic from Wild Veldrain, Virtue of Persistence, and this is the Showcase copy up 11.85% from $9.62 to $10.76 for its market price, and its average price is $13.55. And the promo pack version of the card is sitting at $30.89 for its average price, and the regular copy is sitting at $12.03 for its market price, and its average price is $13.85. And this card is a standard powerhouse, being played in Golgari Midrange, Cascade, Esper Control, 4-Color Control, as well as Seltai Midrange. And it's even being played in Demir Fairies at the moment. This card is being played everywhere in the standard format. Next up here is Throne of Eldraine from Commander Wilds Veldrain. This card is up 12.39% from $8.31 to $9.34 for its market price, and its average price is $8.93. The extended art version of this card is currently sitting at $9.96 for its market price, and its average price is $9.94. And this card is being played mostly in the Commander format in decks like Emodane the Pyrohammer. And our final winner on our list today is another Wilds Veldrain Enchanting Tales card. It is Ristic Study at 14.30% from $32.80 to $37.49 for its market price, and its average price is $35. And the anime borderless copy is currently sitting at $76.37 for its market price, and its average price is $79.11. And the confetti foil version of the card is sitting at $326.42 for its market price, and its average price is $350. And the original copy from Prophecy is sitting at $31.50. 46 cents for its market price and its average price is $35. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day and we are going to start that list off here with Quick Sliver, and this is the extended art version of this card from the Secret Layer series, up 5.87% from $52.45 to $55.53 for its foil market price and its average price is $222.21. Princess Twilight Sparkle from the Ponies The Galloping Set. It's up 7.09% from $77.86 to $83.38 for its foil market price, and its average price is $240.98. Lead and Mirror from Scar is a mirror, and this foil is up 8.58% from $31.46 to $34.16 for its foil market price, and its average price is $14.25. Torian Mahler from Morning Tide, this foil is up 11.69% from $49.96 to $55.80 for its foil market price, and its average price is $50. An old frame foil here from Onslaught Patriarch's Bidding, it's up 11.71% from $59.12 to $66.04 for its foil market price, and its average price is $71. Another old frame foil from Urza's Legacy, Auraflux, up 12.06% from $11.94 to $13.38 for its foil market price, and its average price is $10.90. 
Time Sifter here from Mirrored in the Spoils at 15.68% from $14.03 to $16.23 for its foil market price, and its average price is $14.09. Azami Lady of Scrolls from Champions of Kamigawa. This foils up 16.08% from $55.41 to $64.32 for its foil market price, and its average price is $62.48. Dawn Strider here from Mercadian Masses. Old Frame foils up 17.41% from $38.32 to $45 for its foil market price, and its average price is $29.24. Shadowborn Apostle here, 680 from the Secret Layer series, up 24.09% from $41.80 to $51.87 for its foil market price, and its average price is $72.63. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering. Market movers, it really, really means a lot to me. If you could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so I can continue to grow on this platform. Obviously, all likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel, and I'm forever grateful for that. Also, let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite mover of the day, which cards would be most surprised to see on the list, and which cards they actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again on Monday day for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers installment. However, I'll be back tomorrow for the Week's Winners edition, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, have a fantastic rest of your day and an even better weekend. Take care. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.